All eyes will be on low-cost airline Velvet Sky and a man has been arrested at the Blue Haze Mall in Mpumalanga after he was found in possession of four rhino horns. Ambosasua Khatebe with the latest news update. All eyes will be on low-cost airline Velvet Sky following the suspension of all its flights last week. Velvet Sky says the suspension will give the company enough time to reposition and evaluate its future strategy. The low-cost airline is locked in a court battle with BP over an unpaid fuel bill estimated at 20 million rand. The SABC's Rulani Baloy has more. The Peter Marisbeck High Court had given Velvet Sky until today to respond to BP's application to provisionally liquidate it. The airline had experienced flight delays and cancellations and left hundreds of passengers stranded. Chief Operating Officer Gary Webb had said the company was renegotiating with suppliers. The two parties are expected to meet in court today. The National Consumer Council has called on to affected passengers to immediately lodge complaints with it against the airline. Rulani Baloyi, SABC News. The KwaZulu-Natal Disaster Management has warned communities living in areas affected by floods to stay away from the rivers. It says Tropical Storm Irina remains a threat to the province. They remain on high alert following severe flooding caused by the storm in the past 48 hours. At least 300 homes have been evacuated in some areas. The storm is moving in the southeastern direction. Four people died in an accident at the weekend as a result of the bad weather, while a woman was seriously injured when a wall collapsed on her. Nomu Sadube is head of disaster management and local government and traditional affairs, MEC. We did make a call since this morning and last night to all the teachers and the parents to say, please let us avoid sending those children to school where the waters are still high because that's where we normally see a lot of incidents on the crossings of the river. Sometimes people always undermine the small rivers and think it's something that I cross every day. Labour Union Satao has encouraged members working for the passenger rail agency to return to work today. Metro Rail obtained a court interdict last Friday, declaring the strike illegal. Metro Rail says damage to infrastructure caused by the strikers amounts to 70 million rand. Satao President Ifrem Mpatele. We subsequently then resolved with our members that they should be returning to work. Of course, we would be returning to work pending the finalization of that labor court process. We won't disregard the rulings of the court. We are the law-abiding citizens of the republic. We won't disregard the rulings of the court. It is for that reason that we decided to return to work. And lastly, a man has been arrested at the Blue Haze Mall in Hazy View, Mpumalanga after he was found in possession of four rhino horns and over 60,000 rand in cash. Police spokesperson Jay Naika says the man can be linked to four different properties in the province. Over 5 million rand in cash, several television sets, guns and 54 hunting knives have been recovered from the four houses. The man will appear in the Middleburg Magistrates Court today. Catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1.